Welcome back to the channel, guys. Judo Sloth here. I hope you're having a good one. Today, I will be breaking down the top four Town Hall 9 Lava Loon strategies, including a live attack from myself. There's a sneak peek in the background right now as to how you can take down a maxed level base with low level heroes. My Barbarian King is only level 11, my Queen only level 7. So, this is one of the stronger methods I'll bring you that live attack and a breakdown of it towards the end of the video but I want to showcase a couple of the more popular ways of using Lalo first. Now if you do want to see more Town Hall 9 strategy the playlist on my homepage looks like this. I will link it down in the pinned comments. We bring you educational let's plays here with obviously the strategy based content mixed in so be sure to subscribe if that's what you want to see but let's go ahead and get into number four for Lava Loon. The first attack here is a good starting block, but it is the fourth best method because it's very base specific. The Zap Lalo, but check it out. Both Sweepers and Clan Castle gone. Incredible. This is very similar to the Zap Dragon method, where you use a combination of lightning spells and earthquake to take out potentially two air defenses, then use the dragons to the others. However, on this one, it takes out both sweepers, which really helps with Lalo pathing and the clan castle. The two most important defenses to get down are the clan castle and the archer queen. Now, Mordal does a fantastic job here, realizes that the archer queen on offense is moving so sends in one little epic wizard to take down the archer queen because everything was tanked by the golem that is adaptions at its best my friends gets the air defense there as well incredible stuff so the value is very very good and that's why the zap quake method is is still something you want to think about. If you can take down a base because it has a clear weakness, then do it. I will be showcasing the Lalo and breaking this down throughout the attacks. Just want to kind of get through this first one, get to the others as well, so we're not spending too long with things. But ultimately, Lava Hounds at separate angles to test for the air bombs, and then balloons moving through to different defenses. At Town Hall 9, I'll highlight this a bit more in the next attack, around about three uh, uh, balloons per building. Now check it out as we move through. The one haste spell is used through the Teslas and through the Expo. You do want to try and tank a back end wizard tower. That's what that one balloon came through, but it was a little bit early, unfortunately. Thankfully, we have a good split. We get through this and an incredible job it was by mortals. So the Zap Quake Lava Loon is very base specific. That's why I put it in as number four, but I want you guys to be away with of it. If there is a base that has a clear weakness, take advantage of it. Let's go ahead and move to number three for Lava Loon. The third best way to use Lava Loon at Town Hall 9 is your traditional kill squad. This is where you're taking a small army, pushing into the base to take down a couple of key defenses and also create pathing for your Lava Loon. Remember at the end, I will be showcasing you that version of Lava Loon where you can take down max level bases with low level heroes. It is incredible. But for this one, nine times out of 10, you want to use the golems to tank for your kill squad coming through. Now this is a method which will require higher level heroes. You can notice the Barbarian King level 30 and Queen level 30. They don't have to be maxed, but ultimately the higher the better because you're trying to push into the base and they will be taking a lot of damage. Now, in terms of what you want, Remember, in that last attack, we talked about Clan Castle troops and Archer Queen. In this example, we can get both of them whilst also taking the Town Hall. It's always good to secure the two-star. It's not the be-all and end-all. Wars are won on three stars. But if you can sneak it in order to push that percentage higher, just secure the second star on the fresh hit, maybe, then it is obviously good. Now, check this out as well. We've also taken out basically this entire right-hand side of the base. Now, Balloon 
balloons are defense targeting. So you need to be able to control them around the base as we will do in this example. So we do have a couple of loons to the archer tower. That then allows the one lava hound through and then the second lava hound to the air defense at separate angles. Again, notice how many balloons are coming into each defense. Essentially, you want to one-shot a defense. They move to this archer tower, it goes down. They move to this archer tower, it goes down. Ultimately, you want to continually wipe out a defense one after another and use your spells right in the center. Look at these two balloons again, tanking the wizard tower. Unfortunately, they weren't even needed to tank. The lava hound was there. I say unfortunately, it's, it's fortunate really, isn't it? Because they take it down and wow, this base is then crushed. So make sure you do have cleanup as well, guys. Couple of minions, couple of wizards, things like that. Um, essentially, you need to create the funnel to get your kill squad in, and anything left over you can use as cleanup. Ideally, you don't want to take too many hounds. In this situation, the hound did not pop. You want to take the ideal number so they just about pop at the end. However, let's move to the next strongest Town Hall 9 Lava Loon method before we then move on to the Lava Loon method with low level heroes. The second strongest Lava Loon method for Town Hall 9, some of you might have guessed it, it's the Queen Charge. Now if you do have a higher level Archer Queen, maxed or near maxed, I would argue that this is the best Lava Loon method. However, if you don't have high level heroes, the next one that I will show you obviously compensates, so that's why I'm putting in number one. You don't require max level heroes, but if you've got a max Archer Queen, I'd probably go with this one. So ultimately, we are going to be getting the Queen exactly the same as the Kill Squad into the base here to take out them key defenses. So you want to use wall breakers if you can. You might need to use uh, jump spells, but let's pause for a very brief second because you want to rage your archer queen through the base when she's taking major damage, but you're raging the healers to keep your queen alive. Sneaking wall breakers in alongside the rage spell can be good, and also sending balloons in to test for black bombs to protect your healers is vital. Again, think about the three key components. For Town Hall 9, it's clan castle troops, archer queen, and creating pathing. So we will get the Clan Castle Troops and Archer Queen. We're taking out this entire bottom area. We, we'll get even further than that with this Queen Charge, allowing the Lalo to just come right around the top area. So it's pretty epic, to be honest. You will have to use a Rage Spell when you, you are coming up against multiple point defenses and the Archer Queen. If you can take down Air Defense, what that means is you can control the pathing of your Lava, lava Hounds. They are going to be attracted to the Air Defense, whereas they would have came down to this one. Doesn't make a huge difference here but obviously just plan the pathing of your archer queen let's check it out then as the balloons come forward three per defense again look as they move in haste spell to the archer tower bang it goes down straight away then we use the rage as the balloons come together bang it goes down you don't want to have your balloons hovering over a defense you want it to just go straight down now if you don't have a balloon to tank a back end wizard tower make sure you have a spell to at least get your balloons to it quickly you do not i repeat do not want a back end wizard tower hitting a group of balloons that is a big no-no my friends so what we're going to do here now that we've showcased a bunch of lava loon methods i will break down the lava loon method that requires low level heroes you don't even need heroes to be honest but it is obviously helpful i'll show you the live attack i did first and then i will break down a different attack to teach you it in a slightly different method and let's get into it, guys. We've got all of the troops. We have done just about everything we can at this point to prepare. So let's go. Let's go. We don't want to send too many loons into the bottom. Normally about seven is what I will send into this area. So let's go with the Lava Hound. Then let's go with a bunch of loons. Followed by a Rage spell here. The Black Bomb goes off, which is pretty good. All of the loons come forward. Lures out the Clan Castle. We need the air defense there which is going down and then we can use the archer to try and pull the troops down to the bottom we nearly get the expo into that area as well which is relatively good and uh yeah it looks good it looks good but i really need to make sure that the the baby dragon and the wizard go down here so let's use the poison followed by the king and the queen 
And then let's start the Lalo from this top area. So let's go with Lava Hound. Couple of loons here. A few more loons. Lava Hound. A few more loons. And let's wait. Let's wait at this moment. Now let's rage. Send another Lava Hound in from the top. Need another rage spell here. Need to keep an eye on that queen. I want her to kind of jump the wall here, but let's go with the poison onto this area. Let's rage at the bottom again. Few more loons to the top. We haven't really got great pathing here, but we might do okay as long as we can surround the top wizard tower. We do have balloons getting up to that area. Come on, let's get this. Let's get this. They take it. That might mean we have enough. Let's spread the archers around. We've got 59%. All of the defenses relatively down, the Lava Hound moving through, the pathing wasn't ideal, but we managed to get the Queen, we managed to push through to the final area, and check it out guys, that is how you can take down a maxed level base with low level heroes. We still have the Queen's ability here, let's use it just to power through in celebration, and there we are. It is the staggered Lalo technique. You need to take out an area of the base. Use your heroes to take down the enemy heroes, the enemy clan castle troops, sorry. A lot of the time, you might not even need that. You might be able to take just the archers, keep them inside the poison spell. Arguably, that's what I could have done there, but often I will just use my heroes, take it down, rage through the rest of the base, and as long as you take down the enemy queen, you can do exactly what I did and get the three star with low level troops. So you've seen from my live attack how effective it is. Let's go ahead and break it down for you in a bit more depth so you know exactly how to use it because it's not always easy to educate it to you effectively when I am attacking live. So the Staggered Lalo, as the guys over here at Subsidium call it, by the way, if you do want to join us, be sure to join my Discord server. All of the information you need for all of the clans I cover is within that. Maxed competitive Town Hall 9 players is what we're looking for. So the Staggered Lalo, we initially send in a small Lava Loon portion with a Rage spell, and what we are aiming to get is an air defense and a section of the base. Now, what that does is essentially create pathing for our Lava Loon. We also want to lure the Clan Castle troops. If there are any troops that will attack balloons, they will be lured at this point. If nothing comes out of here, you know you don't have to worry about it because it's not going to attack air troops other than if you were to put your heroes inside its radius so just be careful on that guys ultimately we can use a poison to start taking the dragon down and this is then where you can use your heroes you can use them on a few different parts we take archers to help with cleanup but also to pull the clan castle troops to the side of the base most of the time that's where your lalo has started so that you can kind of clean up that area as well use your heroes to take down the clan castle troops that is their primary focus Focus. If you don't need that, you can use your heroes on the back end of the base, for example, to tank a wizard tower. Now let's get into it then. Now you might be asking, well, what about that archer queen? You mentioned that she's very hard to take down and you need to. Well, yes, you do, but you are going to take her down with a skeleton spell. So check out the pathing of Fixie's attack here. And by the way, Fixie is the guy that basically gave me the tips to do this myself. Brilliant attacker with it. Gets them lava hounds at separate angles. And and also, again, three balloons per defense. You've got to be a little bit careful on the amount of loons you use because you don't have many and you've got to get it to work. So, a rage spell on top of the Archer Queen with the Skeleton spell as well. Make sure that Skeleton spell is combined with your rage spell, otherwise the Queen will not go down. Then we have another Lava Hound from the left hand side with just a couple of balloons and the aim of that is to control the Lalo in the center to come up and through the middle of the base. Otherwise they'd start to split down to the left and some would come into the middle. We'd lose that momentum, so you've got to get the pathing through the base. And no Notice how Fixie still has a couple of loons to tank the wizard tower as the rest of our loons come through. And we also have a rage spell to finish off as well. So purely a master of this attack. There's that barbarian king, only level 15 to tank on the back end. Ultimately, he might be able to take a Tesla or so down, but it's all about using the Lalo effectively. And that's why we have so many hounds as well, because you need your lava pups to clean up the base 
race because you have to take all balloons. Ultimately, if you're not relying on your heroes, the less you rely on them, the more you are relying on the strength of your main attack. So you've got to get that right. Now, guys, if you do want to see this strategy broken down with no heroes, no heroes used at all, I have a video from Subsidium as we showcase that, and I will be sure to link that on your screen right now. I'd highly recommend checking that out so you know how to use it with no heroes. And leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one, but I will catch you tomorrow. Until then, peace out.